Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Brooks Road to the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5 episode uh, 490, I believe. A win in the last one, um, not for Taylor, but for the team. We put up two in the ninth and a walk-off home run uh, from John Bauer. And now we have a three-gamer against New York. We will face off against the Chicago Cubs uh, on a big road, or on a six-game road stand here. Uh, we do hold a three-game lead over the Phillies and the Marlins in the uh, National League East. So we need to beat the Mets just because they're not very good. Bruno Santana has not been good lately. He's going to continue to be bad. And the offense just did nothing today. That wasn't the worst start from him. All right, let's get a good start out of John Stevenson. This is the obvious one. We're getting shut out the whole series. We win that one, thank the Lord. John Bauer, a few runs there, and then we win that one. Okay, two and two. Good job, guys. That's fine. We hold a two-game lead. Let's go ahead and take this Cub series real quick. Hopefully we can get some more run support. Juan Soto playing with the Cubbies. Going to be a Hall of Famer. Long-time uh, Cardinals who he was best known with, actually, in this series. He's a three-time World Series champion, twice with the Cardinals, once with the Nationals. Last ball. A walk, pop up, nothing going for us in the first. Here's how we line up on defense. Perkins going to play first. Let's get into this. One, no strikes. Brooks, an all-star a season ago. He features a two-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a curve, and occasionally yeah, uses a cutter. Down here. Taylor looking to get to 10 and 0 on the year. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Swings. Strikeout number the one on the day, right there. Slider got him for a strike three. And up next Justin Chicago, Crawford. Justin Crawford. Swing and a miss. No ball. That's one strike, strike one. Hey, come on now. Here we go. And ball, ball. one. One and one. The one one. Swing and a miss as he was late. One and two is the count. There you go, one. And now ball it's even right. up. If you haven't checked out the Freddie James series, it's our running back over on NCAA 25. Having a good time on it. An episode today coming out at either 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Um, Eastern time. I think 12 p.m. is the more likely time. I still need to get that Alex Parker video recorded, the wrap-up video. I think I might do that tomorrow. Yeah. I need to put together some numbers, though, before I do that. And I just haven't got around to it. Here's Juan Soto hitting 300 on the year with his new team. Didn't get many calls in the last game. Soto DHing at this point in his career, the 12 time Silver Slugger. Hall of Fame lock. One of the best players of all time, actually. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. Good start. We sack fly one in. Makes it 2 nothing after the Charles Perkin RBI single as well. We head to the and so you kind of see here... <clears throat> with Soto. He's down to a 73 overall, but he's still got that righty splits that are pretty good. 80 and 61. The clutch is high. Plus 70 and 49 isn't the worst for lefties. He was not a full-time player last year, but he still hit decent. He's up at 2,880 hits uh, with 550 home runs. Sadly, this is not going to be a situation where you see him go for a 3,000 career hit season, or a 3,000 career hit career, but 
It's okay. Unless he somehow finds a team next year, but I think he's going to regress too much. But still a Hall of Fame worthy career for Juan Soto. So an 0 2 to Richard Harley. Fouled off. Stays alive. The pitch. Mm. One and two. That one just misses. 99. A good spot, but taken. Next pitch is outside. Really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes. The eye of a tiger. <laughs> See everything, huh? And they foul off everything right in the zone. Swings and misses. Good slider. Him One out. down. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture perfect slider to get the strikeout. A lot of pitches Sparked through two innings. Dives hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball they got the pitch before. And there's no way to hold up when you tunnel that well. Hey, Deb. Check swing of the 0 2, appeal to first. That's a swing, according to umpire Woody Keller. Need to time that better. That one misses, and it's 1 and 2. So 1 2. Popped Next up. Playable up. for Luciano. One down, now two down. Luciano calls it in for the out. And yeah, there's two away. And the batter now, Kurt Kellenberger. Swings through that one. Oh, one. one strike. Here we go now. Let's go. And a swing and a miss there. No ball. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing. 0-2 to Kellenberger. That one came in oh. hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Trying to get out of this with a decent pitch count. Next offering in the dirt. Ball. Two and two. Golly, man. Just can't get out. Cannot get out of these innings. There we go. We're striking people out really fast, but into the second. 37 pitches, though. Not exactly what you want to see. But you are happy with a 2 0 lead. Dang, Blue. I have not been getting the love lately. 28 years old. And he was a second round pick. Oh, okay, there's some love. <laughs> we'll take it. for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Griffin makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now it's the second baseman, Kyle Moya. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One down now. One down. The next pitch Go, misses, and the count is one and two. And delivers outside. Oh. Two two now. Hey. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit Philip on for a while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. No, Sometimes basketball. you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And the pitch. There's the strike at the knees. One ball, one strike. The next it's like, oh. dang, man. I can't get swings and misses. Or I'm getting swings and misses, but I can't get him to swing out of the zone much. Swing and a miss. Throw it right down the middle. Two two pitch fifty. See. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Behind on the timings. Up the middle, Termore. I trust no one more than him. Into the third. Great play. Come on. 
two-run shot by Perez. Christopher Perez out and left, making an impact. Our right field, well, our left fielder today, but he's had a rough start to the year, and we're happy to see that. So make it four nothing here, bottom of the fourth. Swings through that one. You know these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot. So a win here today would give us a winning episode, despite our first two games being lost by our best pitchers in our. We'll see, but or the better pitchers in our rotation, yeah, you know. One, the one with Stevenson sh certainly should not have been lost. He only gave up one. We didn't score. <laughs> Good pitch. One down. Swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Swing and a miss. O2. Two. Strike two. The Cubs yet to pick up a hit here. Just missing there. Now one and two. So one two to Justin Crawford. And a pitch, two and down. Miss. And two away now. And now it's one. Here's Juan Soto. Went deep last game. But struck out earlier. Chris Soto was a runner-up for the National League Rookie of the Year in 2018 to Ronald Acuna Jr. And then a runner-up for the MVP in 2021 to Bryce Harper. Is this a guy you think could win an MVP somewhere down the line? Soto has a good chance of winning an MVP. I think it's going to be Judge this year in real life. I believe Juan Soto has won an MVP a few times. There's our max relationship with John Bauer, our catcher. That's huge. Plus 25 on the control boost now from here on out. That's that's actually a really big deal with John Bauer. He's only on a one-year deal, though. I think we need to sign him to like two or three more years. Please. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder. So Richard now, Harley. it's gonna be really Line drive, and that should be not the way you want to start it when you say you're gonna hit your spots. But yeah, it plus 15 double. to control Their from our last few pitches. Things are going to be a little oh, bit tighter right with there. Taylor. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that that's one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to model. So many positives that led to that knock. Could be a chance here for this. This is deep trouble. Really now weakly hit. Down. Make it and four to one. That's that's just unfortunate. Need a K. That one no, off the mark. Not. It's a ball and two strikes. Next offering misses down and away. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two. Yes, he did. One down. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So, really good stuff. Pitch. In this one. And a pitch. There's a foul ball. Got him, looking for the Got him to stare at that one. Two down. So another relationship. You see that confidence up to plus 31. You can get it up around plus 55. That one's in there on one. And you've stuck with a team for a while, so that's the goal. Very weakly hit. So a couple of ugly singles. Holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bad stage. I can't really throw that pitch much different. Extended period of time. Nice call. They have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that. 
in front of the center fielder. One, two. One, two. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Pitch, but fouled off. First and second, two down. Yeah, he down on strikes. Good job at so the end of the fifth. Three, three, three. Three strikeouts. Of Nationals inning. cannot Here's respond with a run ball. back, and but we still lead hands. four to one here as we go back to the top of the order. First offering oh. and it just misses. Struggling with first pitch strikes today. Next offering is in for a strike. I hope we can throw like seventh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Their timing today. Good fastball, excellent right. slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Right down the middle. He just stared at it. One down. Justin Crawford's had a good career. Former Philly. Like actually, he's had a good he's had a good career. <laughs> Seventy seven overall now, and he's over eleven 1 hundred hits, about to be at twelve hundred. Seven eighty six career OPS. A very good fielder, thirty six point three war. Three times in a game. I think that guy's That's impressive. Go really study some video with his hitting coach. Figure out how they're beating him. Make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And so 0 2 to Justin Crawford. The slider on the ground played by Marco. He fires. A little high, but two down. Two up, two down. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, no right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. That's in there. Mm. No balls, two strikes. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. End of the sixth. Great Soto. pitch. Soto has a hat trick of strikeouts now. Thomas Fujita comes in, throws well. 92 pitches through six for Taylor. Not his best, but here we go. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Entering the seventh. We're going to turn this over to the bullpen, assuming we can get these three outs. That misses off the outside edge. One and one. The one one. Late that time, and it's strike two. So one, two. Good pitch. One down. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. DeMaio stands in now and watches strike one. Damian DeMaio. That's where it's right center. We're fine, right? Turns, moving to his left. Oh, we are not fine. It's up against the wall. DeMille stops at two, but he's got a one-out double. He was all over that one. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Kellenberg in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Pitch 100, right down the middle, strike one. One out here. I'd rather not give up another run. And one and two. One and two. Keep it up. That's a little bit high. Did get the result he wanted, but that's a nice pitch right there. Hmm. At the belt. Back door slider. Disgusting, but foul. Keep me in, coach. Tying run comes to the plate. Melvin Wheat got the double play. Big time, Melvin. Come on. Switching over to Ray Kern. He gets a couple of outs. Now to Jason Bauer. One, two, and three. Beautiful. 
These guys have won the series with the win in this game today. So you got your eye on a sweep. A 4-1 victory here in Chicago. Nationals are going to have another winning episode. This one a 3-2. Team's on a three-game winning streak, and they have won this series. Taylor gets his 10th win of the year, still without a loss. Nationals' Jason Bauer has his 16th save. And despite Adrian Cabral having a good season so far, he is not really uh, – he has been unfortunate with his offensive production. 15 Ks today from Taylor continuing to push that envelope that he has a chance to break that single season strikeout record. I really want that. I really want that. The single season strikeout record is 383. Taylor's at, okay, we have two more starts before we're at the halfway point. I think we're just over on the pace. We have the pace right now, um, but we have to have the second half of the season be just as good. So that's a tough, ta that's a tough ask, you know. We're going to face the Reds in the next one. Got some more NL Central action, so I will see you all then. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks episode 490 in the books.